Well, this place looks new. I was just kind of exploring a little bit and stumbled across this place. More sheet music? Okay. No, don't, don't jump through that. And then we have something here. Take Clementine's notebook. I don't know who that is, but... It's a strange notebook with a symbol on it. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything is going... Alright. Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes... I know this look. He will not come with us. I don't know what this means, but it... It'll probably be useful later. We should go see that Momo person who Guardian told us about. I agree. I can't walk on the keyboard? Oh. Fine. Well, let's get out of here. See, I'm trying to figure out how to get to that place. I mean, this is basically like, that's the guy with the, uh, or those are the, well, I think that's a guy you try to use an Australian accent for and completely failed, but, you know. Um, where am I going? I mean, that is the question. Oh. More sheet music. Okay, so I just went in a big circle. Oh well. What's that sound at the door? Probably nothing. Alright. Can I jump on that? I guess not. Oh. Looks like he has a cane of some sort? I don't know. Eptor. Oh, hey, it's you. You do look weird and small, but there's something about you. I feel compelled to pet you, but I won't, because I don't understand why. <laughs> okay. Uh... The surface? Oh, it's a sensitive subject around here. There's some whose code can understand that concept. There are ones who know about the outside, but are too resigned to n do anything. And then there's the outsiders. You can imagine how they feel. Well, there's only Momo now. Okay, and what about this? There's a logo of the Outsiders? They were a group of people looking for the surface. Momo was one of them. One day, they decided to put their plan into action and went into the sewers. Sadly, not a peep from them since. For some reason, Momo stayed behind. I think he'll always regret that decision. Poor guy. Okay. So we're probably gonna have to give uh, Clementine's notebook to Momo. Hang on. We're gonna claw this couch a little bit. Hope this guy doesn't mind. He's raising an eyebrow. No, I mean, come on. What do you expect? It's a couch. I'm gonna have to claw it. Ow. Okay. Um. Get another can of energy drink thing. And then we'll climb up here. TV? Can we watch TV? Breaking news! 
All right, I don't know what's going on with that. We change the channel. Put on something better. No idea what that is. <laughs> and what the heck is this? Like a game show or something? This looks like a shopping channel. Normally these are 40 bucks, but if you call now, you can get it for 50% off and only pay $19.99. I don't know. I don't watch those channels, so I don't know what they talk about. Is this some sort of like action show or movie or something? Dude. It's hard to tell because the pictures or the images are flashing like so fast. Don't really like it. Ooh! Browse through all the TV channels. Nice. See? It was worth it to sit here and do all that stuff. Alright. I think that's enough time, enough television for now. Do people still say television? God. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, we'll jump over here, get, the, get these pots out of here. Get them out. Say, get them out! Yeah. Ooh, a library. Possibly. Looks like it. We'll knock some books over because. Oh. Not on my watch. These books thought they were gonna stand up. Oh, that's one of those old timey record player things. I don't know what it is. What is this? How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human, volume 42. Oh, I need, uh, that's what I need. <laughs> Can I have that book in real life? Oh, more piano cat. Or keyboard cat, well, not really keyboard because it's a piano, but you know. Oh, we get a little nook, take a nap in. You know what's kind of funny? The controller actually vibrates like it's uh, synced up with the purring. You see, that's that's one of the cool things about like the, the PS5 controllers and the haptic feedback stuff, but I don't know. It's cool, but it's not really necessary. At least for me, it's not. I don't really care about it. I can appreciate it. Am I gonna say it's the best thing ever? No. Look at that, we found a safe! See, I told you that. It's worth it to trash everything. You never know what you're gonna find. Let's see what we can do here. Unfortunately, I don't have a... E. So now I'm going to have to find a key. Is it going to be in here? I would hope so, but... Who knows? Hey look, it's that painting again. Or picture. Wait a minute. See these pictures here? They're the same. And the same as this one. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Actually, they're not the same. I mean, they have the same looking tree. That's about it. Get this book's out of here. Eh. Oh, I'm gonna glitch myself into something. <laughs> 
I'm gonna end up stuck. Yeah, dude, look at all these books. What's this? Hey, Doc, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. That's the librarian. Oh, those. Okay. Whatever. There's a book on me. <laughs> Alright, well, we got the key. What's in the safe? I could not see what that was. It's a strange notebook with a symbol on it. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined the spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. Hmm. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. I don't know what this means, but it'll probably be useful yet later. You should go see that Momo person who Guardian told it. Yeah, I know. Is, was that all that was in there? Also, that's a really bright light in there. Holy crap. <clears throat> also, I know that... What's his name? B12? Yeah. Like the vitamin. Um. I know he's like quoting people, but I just keep it in his voice because I imagine he's just reading it out loud. And I'm also too lazy to try to figure out who the hell is talking. <laughs> so, did I miss anything in here? I don't think so. Is that a traffic cone? <laughs> well, <laughs> that's one way to use it. And maybe, maybe she read that book about how to be creative like a human. Use a traffic cone as a lamp. Okay. Why am I not jumping? I'm stuck. That's that guy. Um. Yeah, I, okay, I could probably climb up there. But it's like... If I go up there and we start, like, going through this mission or whatever, am I going to be unable to get back to this place? My friend and I love tossing buckets at each other. Good, clean fun. Our downstairs neighbor disagrees, so we're taking a break now. Outside white brother, try and find it. We're good here. Oh yes, everyone knows around here knows about this symbol. The Outsiders. They live in the upper floors of this area. You can probably talk to Mobo. Momo about this. Okay. okay. I think that's about it. Is the music guy down there? Could be. You're telling me I can't fall from this height? Come on. I'm a cat. <laughs> Wanna talk yet? Oh, alright. Same things. Where is the music guy? Back here. See, I think I need to find somebody to give this poncho to. I don't know who. Cool down. I think I can play this look.
This is a really long song. Can we... Are we done? Are we done? Thank you. Unfortunately, we still have more. How many... We have like... Oh my god, we have so many. Ballad of the Lonely Robot. Oh, this is... This sounds very joyful. Okay, that one was shorter, so that's not too bad. I don't even know how many I've found so far. This one was composed by a renowned algorithm. Okay. Is that it? Alright. Oh yeah, the bag. I forgot about the bag. This is so hard to control. Help! I have a bag stuck in my head. Wait, there's a vending machine here? How long has this been here? Do I have three of these now? One, two, three. I do. So I think I can buy whatever this guy was trying to sell. Hello again, what do you want now? This is an ancient relic, a testament to the talent of our ancestors. I see three energy drink, drink cans. Remember the janitor. It's not a janitor. I don't know. This is an early model of a companion. Back then, they didn't have any personality. They were just glorified auto autonomous cleaners. I think it's nice that they eventually mim mimicked humans. It's like they missed them, and in a way, they kind of kept them from going extinct. They're good robots. Mm hmm. Look at that. Okay, so now we're gonna go... I don't know, did we talk to this person before? Yeah, we did. Fortunate to have these items to help us defend against the Zerks. The slums is its threats and preparation is key. Ah. I don't know who to give the poncho to. I feel like I have to give it to somebody. What about the Guardian? Does he know? Nope. I have no clue. Only it's a hypochondriac. Not many of those anymore. Got passed down from our ancestors. If you want him to go back to work, you better bring him some cloth. That will butter him up. Oh! Elliot. 
Did I ever go up here? Probably not. Yes, can I help you? Um. Oh, where did you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it on. Thanks for the poncho. Please come see me if you ever need anything fixed. Okay. What's that, a beach? I've never heard of that in my whole life. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know about that, I know about that, okay, oops, I don't, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, I think I, maybe I came up here before, but I don't know. Um... Yeah, so this place is basically right next to Grandma's shop here. So, that's all I had to do, was knock on this door, wait for them to open. I'm pretty sure I went in here before and I was going to go upstairs, but then I'm like, ah, I should check out the, the rest of the town before I do that. And then I didn't. <laughs> so, yeah. What do I have left in my inventory? Just the... Just that stuff. Okay. I think now I'll just try to make my way to... Uh, whatever we're looking for. <laughs> the neon sign, that thing. so sad. Outsiders. It's never gonna work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Who are you? What do you want? Uh, well, I have some things here. There's a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It'll bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that transceiver doesn't work. <laughs> My friends and I took notes of our research on the about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go up there. Oh, okay. You're on your own. Done with the outside. Good luck. Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The Outsider's Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from the Zerks. It's signed Clementine Zabaltazar? Doc and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. Well, I found one notebook. Or two. Hey, little cat. Are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Uh, yeah. Oh? They belong to Doc. He's really a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He's always on the verge of great discovery. Oh, you found Clementine's notes? He's really brave, you know. The most fearless person I've ever met. That's my notebook. I was the last to join the Outsiders, and I'm also the last remaining one. Well, okay. Let's go. I have one more uh, thing to find. There's a cow again. The city has a similar... The city has a cylindrical shape of about 450 meters in diameter. 
There's a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling, if I believe my books. A big blue sky is hidden behind. Alright, we're gonna knock his books over. Give him something to do. So he can take his mind off of everything. <laughs> uh... Bottle of Jameson or something. <laughs> yeah, we gotta put this bag on our head. Help me! I have a bag on my head. It's dark. gonna scratch the walls a little bit sure why not oh look I wonder if that's the last piece of sheet music again I don't know how many I've actually found <laughs> Home too. Oh, back home too. I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? else in this room? Hey look, another traffic cone lamp. And... we do anything with this? No? Can't go out that door. Alright. So I guess we're, uh... We're going back to... Searching the town for more stuff? Another notebook or something? This symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. Didn't they just go in there? We already visited this place, but we could check if there are if there is other signs like that. Uh, okay. Whatever you say, B12. something. Maybe. See that? question is, how do we get over there? Oh no, I did not want to do that.
here. Let's see if uh, we can do something here. Oh, this is. This is this place. I'm pretty sure we were. We already went in here. Sitting in a random box. Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Zabaltazar. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. Oh! There's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw on the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If they can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. Alright, but first, I'm gonna go uh, see this music guy again. Idea where he is, but we'll find him. Oh, is memory here? Remarkable. Companions have evolved so much. In the early days, their simple AI merely imitated human art. Now this is all their own. Humans often said that making art is important in desperate situations. These are certainly desperate times. I'm still missing a piece. Dang. Oh look, music guy's right here. Petite Vols. I, I don't know what that says. Sounds cool, here, what's that? Keep an eye out. found a notebook. That's the Baltazar's notebook, right? I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible! That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums! Clementines, Baltazar, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I'll promise you, I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find you a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver.
And voila. It works. Come with me. Oh, shoot. All right. Up there. See that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there is a way out, they'll know it. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Oh, no. No. I don't think I can go back. <laughs> 